Hello, this is LeGranzilla. Um, today I wanted to show you some vinyl models. So I had a subscriber ask me to give more information about different kinds of models. Um, last time I talked about my styrene models, which is kind of for beginners. Next step up would be vinyl. And so I wanted to show you some examples of those here. And so uh, let's take a look at. There we are. This is a. One of the older types of, of vinyl model, been around for a long time. It's a company called Billiken, and this is a 1975 Godzilla, which I have been working on. And I pretty much put them together. I did not glue in the mouth. This is, it's, uh, I can take it out if I want, because I want to paint the inside of the mouth before I, uh, before I uh, glue it. And I did some of the seam work, but not all of it. Is some. And in a later video, I'll show you how you glue and do seams and things like that a little bit. Um, another company, if you want a fairly cheap model, but never, not a very big one, is uh, West Kenji. And uh, this Godzilla here is this one here that I that I made. And I'll show you that diorama more. And uh, here's another one of Space Godzilla. Now I'm going to take the Baby Godzilla here and Space Godzilla and put them together in a diorama. And uh, let's see if I can open this box up and hold the camera at the same time. Not too well, but see, I already built the daddy. And here's the baby. You see, you got to cut the pieces put them together. But we'll talk about that more later. Right now, let's focus on this vinyl diorama I made. Now, of course, the, the Godzilla is the only part that's made of vinyl. The rest is made out of styrene, the building, and pieces of balsa wood and all kinds of different stuff. I mean, I... I made a lot of stuff here uh, out of clay and the base is made out of foam insulation that you put in your walls that's um, the board type is pink usually or, or blue. I put a couple pieces together and then I used a uh, hot knife to shape it and uh, and painted it. I wanted it to look like this was like pulled right out of the earth or something. And uh, what got this diorama going was a friend of mine at work uh, gave me these little nuns. They come from a gun he had called, uh, I think it's called Nunchucks, and it chucks nuns out of the gun. And uh, so they look like they're flying or something. Well, I, uh, I made them on fire because they're running out of a burning building and there's an explosion. I made this explosion out of... Um, that uh, foam insulation called Great Stuff and I just kind of made a base and I made myself a little mushroom cloud and then I took wire and I had the little nun uh, fly away from the explosion and I found this uh, bingo hall and of course I trashed it all up there's the sign that says hall so everybody's running around, and I thought, what would a what a group of nuns drive around? It was either going to be a Mini Cooper or it was going to be a Volkswagen Beetle, and I went with the Beetle. It was kind of a, um, a turquoise-colored Beetle, but by the time I got done smashing it and doing all this stuff to it and painting some some uh, fire effect reflections on it, um, it doesn't look turquoise anymore. Anyway, this is Godzilla, and uh, this would be the uh, 1994 version, I think it is. And uh, I painted fire effects on him, so I paint him kind of greenish blue on one side, and then when the where the flames hit him, on the other side, I got some orange. See. I've been trying to do more stuff like that instead of just uh, just painting Godzilla gray. 
see how beautiful the orange is. Maybe I overdid it a little bit, I don't know. But I wanted to make them kind of colorful. Ain't he cute? I love these super deformed or chibi style uh, Godzilla toys and uh, models. You can buy some of these in toy form so you don't have to build them, but the paint job isn't that great and you can see seams and stuff. So I've gotten a couple of those, but I ended up uh, repainting them anyway and doing the seams. You see some of the balsa wood in there. I'm having a hard time getting good focus, but some of the balsa wood in there to look like uh, two by fours and stuff and yeah I just found all kinds of crap and stuff to put in here make it look like drywall or whatever tried to make up one of the floors here um, you know like the part of a floor is still there on the second floor but that's the end of the bingo hall. Now this is not an anti-Catholic diorama. I just want to say, and no offense to any of my Catholic friends, I'm not Catholic, but I'm not trying to diss Catholics. But uh, we could say this is more of an anti-gambling diorama, maybe. Um, I called this diorama Godzilla Kicks the Habit because it kind of has a double meaning because uh, men's wear what you call habits. So she's wearing a habit. And gambling is a habit. And if you are spending your money on gambling instead of buying food for your kids or paying your bills, then it's a bad habit. If you just go out and take 20 bucks and have fun with it and you're going to spend that much anyway, that's fine. But who knows what these nuns and other people were doing on bingo night but there you have it this is Godzilla kicks the habit I took it to G-Fest uh, last year and I got a ribbon for it and um, yeah there it is so next time we'll build this guy and uh, I'll paint him and I'll show you the progress as we go and show you how this vinyl stuff works. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.